Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. Should you delete records from your database or should you soft delete? I was recently asked for my view on this question from a follower on Twitter. So what's my answer? Well, I'm not actually thinking about deleting anything. Usually I'm thinking about adding. This video is brought to you by EventStoreDB, the stream database built from the ground up for event sourcing, CQRS, and event-driven microservices. For more on EventStoreDB, check out the link in the description. So to make sure we're all on the same page, let's just talk about quickly about hard delete, soft deletes, so we know what we're talking about here. So let's say I have a table, I'll use an example too of a document store, but let's say we have employee ID 123, which is me, and I have my email address, and we have another employee ID for another record, which is 456, which is Peter Gimmons. If you get that reference, leave a comment. So we have two records here. If we're actually gonna do a hard delete, and we wanna actually delete my record, physically, we're gonna actually completely remove that record. So there's now no reference to that record of, as me being an employee. That's what I'm referring to as a hard delete. Now, if you're using a database that has some type of four key constraints, you're not actually gonna be able to delete hard delete data because if you're using that and you have a constraint on that employee record somewhere else, you need it for reference data because it is referenced. So what's the alternative? Well, generally, that's when you start getting down the line here of what people call soft deletes. So that means that what we'll have is we'll have some indication on the record that it's deleted. So in the case of, say, my table here of a relational database, maybe we have a new column that's just called is deleted, and it's just a bid or a bool, something that we mark true false. So anytime we want to actually delete data, we're not actually really deleting it. Rather, what we're doing is we're updating the record and marking that is deleted column as true. Now, if you're using a document store and you have documents, it's the same thing. You're just having some property that's marking to indicate on that particular document, that object, if it's deleted. Now, I usually don't think about deleting or soft deleting anything. And the reason that is, is because the types of systems that I build that are enterprise and line of business, they revolve around business concepts and business processes. Users actually don't think about deleting all that often in the core of what they're actually doing. So let me give you an example of where deleting or soft deleting just actually doesn't even make sense. So if we're working on a system that has something to do with employees, and that's a vital part, a core part to the system, then we're not adding employees to the system or deleting employees to the system. Rather, we'd be hiring an employee. And that was actually the initial creation of the record. We're hiring. That's actually a, some business concept that's going to matter a part of our system. We're not deleting or soft deleting an employee. We're terminating their employment. So that is actually something that we want to capture that's actually happening with other data. So like I mentioned, when I'm thinking about adding, it's not just some is deleted field or is active. It's going to be when was the employment terminated? What's the effective date of that termination? Maybe was there some type of reason code? There's all other sets of data that belong that relate to that event. If you watched any of my videos, you'll notice this is that these things are some ideas, they're events that are occurring, the actions that have taken place. And there's generally data around those um, occurrences of things that have happened that you want to record. So rather for looking at a document, for example, we're not just recording is deleted, but maybe we're record recording hiring as a collection and that has an effective date. We have a termination, which has an effective date and a reason code. And again, these are collections, these are arrays because you may hire and terminate an employee more than once. Maybe they come back and work later on, depending what the scenario is. So it's not just an is deleted, it is in this case, a termination. That's actually something that's a very important, a part of the business process of HR, especially what their effective date is. Now, often I get pushback from comments that people say, it's just CRUD, just let me do CRUD. Why do you push kind of this commands or task-based UIs? And if it is just CRUD, then so be it. But in my experience, at the core of the heart of what you're doing, really everything is an event. And it's something that's occurring that matters a part of the business process. If you start thinking about events and you get into event driven architecture, you can develop a system that is very reactive about things that are happening and orchestrating long running business processes. So when we're thinking about events, Let's jump over to another example of why I think about even event sourcing of append only. If we're talking about uh, an employee and somebody within this actual HR system, maybe they were hired, maybe then they had their residence changed. It's not just their address changed, it's specifically why. It's well, because they moved. They actually physically changed houses or wherever their mailing address is. 
maybe that at that point they decided to leave and go to another job so we had their employment was terminated at effective date but then maybe several years later a couple years later they came back and wanted to work again at the same company so then they were hired again but these are a stream of events a series of things that have happened specifically to that employee so just recording of it is deleted uh, you kind of lose or is if you were to undelete them or create a new record it doesn't really give you the same information as if you're recording the actual things that have happened regardless of whether they are events or whether you're capturing the specific information about those state changes like in my document example before so again that's why i'm not thinking about deleting i'm really thinking about adding data and adding data a part of a process again it's not just deleting an employee it's terminating an employee that has some business concept behind it and that data behind it could be very important if you want to ask other like-minded developers questions like this check out the links in the description on how to get access to my private discord server by becoming a youtube member or patreon if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any thoughts or questions make sure to leave a comment and please subscribe for more videos on software architecture and design thanks